Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash aka I'm a Ghostbuster and today I'm doing a quick review for Road of Death on Xbox. Now this was recently released onto the store on the 8th of the 7th 2022. Uh, it's developed by, I believe it's pronounced Diedmore, but it's D-I-E-D-E-M-O-R Studio and it's published by Rattleica Games who were kind enough to send me a copy of this for this review so big thank you to them for that. Now, Road of Death is a sort of top-down-esque 2D shooter which throws in elements of survival and roguelite. So, um, after a terrible accident at your local nuclear power plant, huge areas of land were contaminated with radiation uh, under its influence. Many living organisms were mutated and became very aggressive. Now, the whole world is in mortal danger. We've selected the best personnel to handle the situation, and you are one of them. So that is basically the premise of the um, game. You're basically one of a variety of sort of soldiers, and you have to go into these zones complete tasks to finish the missions and stay alive now imagine sort of um stalker if it was a sort of indie um sort of 2d shooter with um a lot more shooting and, and then survival basically <laughs> that's probably the best way to put it but it's got that sort of um sort of like chernobyl-esque sort of theme to it now, the game features eight different levels um, and a tutorial, and, and also it has an endless survival mode as well. Now, there's different playable characters that you can choose, um, which have different skills and weapons, so you're able to pick one best suited to either the mission or just your playstyle. I quite like the one with the flamethrower in the end, because uh, in a tight situation, the flamethrower absolutely um, destroys things. Now, um, in each of the levels, you've got um, sort of tasks to do, sort of finding documents, killing so many enemies, stuff like that. Um, you basically move around the map. You have like a compass pointing you to your next sort of destination. Now, you have a variety of weapons, you sort of shotguns, knives, pistols, flamethrowers, sniper rifles, depending on your character. And uh, you can pick more up from chests. You also collect these, like, tokens, these sort of radiation tokens from enemies and stuff like that, which you can then spend on uh, upgrades that are purchable in the store between missions. Um you also have to avoid getting contaminated by radiation. You have like a radiation meter in your bottom corner. Uh, in certain areas, you it, it sort of springs to life, saying there's a lot of radiation. So you, have, you have like a water gun that sort of neutralizes it. So you end up sort of clearing up the radiation while you're there, basically. And then you can move in safely. Now, you can refill your um, water at these tanks. And obviously, with your weapons, you do have to keep an eye on your ammo. But there is a lot to pick up um, spread all across the map, basically. Now, the game um, features a day-night cycle and, like, cool rock soundtrack, which really gets you in the mood for shooting, sort of like... Um, nuclear monsters like i say proper proper sort of like uh freaks and sort of all the things you would expect to find from like a game about a nuclear explosion basically um and also one thing i did like was uh the levels are not the same every time your start in position changes so you basically dropped in by helicopter so it does change depending on uh how you're playing and sort of like every time you play you're going to start in a different position now as this is a rattle like a game, it does also feature pretty decent uh, achievements. You can easily pick up the 1000 game score within an hour. Um, you basically have to finish the first four missions to the first half of the game. And then basically blow up so many barrels, pick up so many of this, do so much of that. Um, buy an extra um, medic pack, stuff like that. Place five campfires in a, a, a mission. So... Um, they're very simple, very easy to get, so it's an easy 1,000 gamer score. Um, I do like the sort of the abilities you get, like you can place your tent to heal and stuff like that. You've got like a flashlight, especially when it becomes night from day, and it does have a limited battery and stuff like that. Uh, and just like I say, it's not just picking up items and just crazily blasting. You've obviously got your uh, ammo to keep track of. You've got to keep track of your radiation and your health, and. Uh, 
also, like I say, there's other sort of things around in the areas that you've got to keep track of, as well as the radiation. So there's a lot to it, a lot of sort of like sneaking around, survival, blasting your way through things all at once. Really fun little game. Highly recommend it. Now, it's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. It's optimized for Xbox Series X and S with 60 FPS and 4K resolution, and it does support smart delivery as well. And it's usually priced at $4.99, but it's currently on sale for $3.99 on the UK store for a limited launch time. So if you want to grab it, now's the time to get it to save that bit of money. But like I say, other than that, it's still very uh, cheaply priced. There's a good sort of couple of hours worth of game there, depending on your skill level. Like I say, you you could take longer depending on your um how good you are and like i said there are extra difficulty levels as well if you want to go from medium all the way up to like very hard but that's that for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now